is Andrea and today I'm here with a new video for you guys. I am also here with a new YouTube channel for you guys. That's correct, this is a brand new YouTube channel, which means I would love it if you guys can go hit the subscribe button and show me some love because that would be so awesome if you guys can go do that. I would really appreciate it. Anyways, enough about that, let's just get into this video. Today's video is going to be how to be a baddie. It's not that hard to do, it's just that some people are learning and some people don't know and they want to get some tips. Also, a little disclaimer, being a baddie does not mean you look cute, no. It consists of personality more than it consists of looks. I just wanted to put that out there and let's just get right into this video. Okay, tip number one is that confidence is key. This is the most important tip of all tips of probably all time. You can't accomplish anything if you don't have some type of confidence in yourself and not having faith in yourself that you're going to, like, that you look good, that you know what you're doing, all of that. I know it's easier said than done because confidence is such a hard thing to achieve because we have so many standards in today's society where you should look like this and you should be built like this and this, this, bleh. It doesn't matter, okay? All those standards do not matter anymore. You need to have confidence in yourself. If you guys want me to make a video on how to be more confident, then let me know down in the comments. Tip number two is to stay true to yourself. Don't change for nobody because they ask you to, because they want you to, because they think you should change, because they don't matter, okay? They do not matter. They are irrelevant. Don't change for anybody. Stay true to yourself because changing for people and trying to impress other people, that is so dumb. If somebody doesn't accept you for who you are, then they suck. End of story do you boo do you tip number three is to have a good attitude be nice i can say that whenever i see people with nasty attitudes for literally no reason i personally get kind of aggravated and annoyed because i'm just like why do you have an attitude yes maybe you're having a bad day maybe you're you know you have things going on in your personal life but that doesn't mean you should take your attitude out on other people when they did nothing wrong to you that is so aggravating and it, don't oh my gosh. stop spending a billion and seven dollars on things that you don't need what i mean is don't spend so much money on things that you know aren't really benefiting you you do not have to buy louis vuitton bags and gucci belts if you don't really need it there are ways to buy super cheap or affordable clothing and make it look super expensive you do not have to go to the mall and run up a check and spend massive amounts of money on things that you probably don't need or things that are probably not benefiting you it's not necessary yes if you really want it then go ahead and get it yes boo do you but you do not always have to do that be very mindful of that Stop worrying about what other people have to say about you. Their opinion is irrelevant. Our people always have an opinion and they always want that opinion to be heard. That's just how life is. That's just how it's gonna be. Sometimes that opinion does not need to be heard. Sometimes nobody cares to hear that person's opinion, but they want it to be heard. That's aggravating. But you have to understand that their opinion is irrelevant because opinions are just your personal thoughts on something and you know their thoughts on you does not matter by listening to haters and listening to what other people have to say about you all that's doing is just making it more difficult for you to be confident in yourself tip number six have good hygiene i know a lot of people may struggle in this area but if you have the blessing of being able to take a shower every night whether it's hot water, cold water, warm water, whatever. Take advantage of that opportunity because there are lots of people out here who, who can't do that, but you can. Take a shower, wash up really good, wash up in your neck, your creases, just wash everywhere. Go to, go buy some deodorant, some wipes, whatever. Some people walk out and they smell right 
And they may not know that they do, but they do. So be very careful, okay? Tip number seven, buy accessories to go with your outfits. Accessories put together outfit really well, like earrings, rings, my nails, bracelets, like they all make an outfit look way better. It literally advances your drip. You know what I'm saying? Try to invest in some jewelry, some accessories, whether that's a little handbag, a purse, a belt, a satchel, whatever. You do you, boo. I love Sprite. Tip number eight. Always look good or presentable or somewhat presentable everywhere you go. Do not look like a hot mess. Even if you're going on a Dollar Tree store run, or even if you're going to the uh, on a gas station run, a Walmart run, whatever run you're going on, look somewhat presentable. I'm not saying you have to dress in your drippiest drip or your nicest outfit or your church clothes, but I'm saying you gotta look somewhat presentable. Think of it this way. If you saw Beyonce, ask yourself, would she wanna take a picture with me looking like this? You could dress in sweatpants, shorts, baggy t-shirts, sweatshirts, basketball shorts. You could dress in all of that, but there is still a way to make yourself look good, okay? Period. Tip number nine is stop trying to be like other people. Be original and be yourself, okay? This is another thing like staying true to yourself. It's just in different ways. I know trends are really fun to follow and trends are really fun to do, but you know, what is, what is, how is it benefiting you? All you're doing is being part of a trend, but it doesn't really benefit you. What does benefit you is being yourself and staying original. Don't not buy something just because you feel like somebody else won't like it or people will judge you. For all you know, you could be starting a new trend. You do you, boo, okay? It goes hand in hand with staying true to yourself. Be original, stay true to yourself, period. My last tip for you guys is to wear flattering clothes on your body. If you have concerns or you feel insecure about your figure and the way your body is shaped, which everybody feels in some point of their life, definitely do not wear clothes that's gonna make you feel even worse. Wear clothes that is gonna make you feel confident in yourself and confident in the way that you look. So definitely always wear flattering clothes to your figure so it doesn't add to your insecurities. Renegade, Renegade, Ren Alright guys, that is the end of the video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really, really hope you guys enjoyed and I really hope you guys took something away from this video. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified of any of my future posts. And I would so, so greatly appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.